To get one of these geckos, you need to go ahead and kill one of these in small land. I'm going to show you how. Hello right bags, it's Jade, welcome to how to get yourself a gecko lizard as a tame. So you go ahead and go to Scardi in the south, they should give you the location of the rhino beetle. Here it is on the map, you're better off doing this during the day, you don't want to be attacked by any of the nighttime nocturnal creatures as it makes it much tougher. As you can see the rhino beetle is no easy creature to defeat. It does a pretty ferocious charge attack with not much warning that it's about to, so you can try dodging out of the way, but to be honest, just like my advice for a lot of the bosses is to just go in deep with lots of healing potions and try and wail it as much as possible. Obviously hammers are going to be the best thing to take it on with, you can clearly see it's slightly immune to piercing weapons, so no bows, no scythes and no pickaxes. Now I did have a bit of help with Spicy here, so it should increase the actual damage and the difficulty of the creatures that you face, but relatively it shouldn't be one of the toughest creatures that you come across, although it does have a quite a tanky health pool as you can see, doing 40 to 50 damage with my iron hammer here, and it didn't take too long at all. You need to make sure you pick up the Rhino Horn that it drops, and then return to Scardi, who will now have the recipe for the Gecko unlocked. Supposedly this creature is meant to be living in the swamps. Wouldn't surprise me if they have a little change around maybe with some of the creatures and where you find them, but of course I'll do updated videos if they do. So to craft the gecko tree, you're gonna to have to do it at your cauldron and you will need the following materials. You're gonna need two ant heads, two bee heads, one petal and two seed oil. The gecko I think is meant to be like the second creature that you possibly tame. As bees are pretty easy to kill with bow and arrow, and the rest of it you shouldn't have too much trouble getting but of course you will need the grinder so that you can actually make the seed oil and then use it. So lizards can be pretty ferocious so you do want to make sure you thin them out a little bit before attacking otherwise you may have them turning on each other as soon as you've tamed one. They have got their lick attack which is pretty strong but they're not maybe the toughest creatures to take on. Although certainly doing it on your own against three of them and you may find your health quickly deteriorating. So try and kill one or two of them and then get the third one or try and lure one of them around. Just like always you need the treat inside your inventory and once you've dealt a few blows to the gecko it will give you the prompt to go ahead and tame it. Now you can ride these geckos and you can use them to go up pretty much vertical drops but they don't have any jumping ability. They do have an attack but you can't actually use it while riding unless there's some sort of bug. In fact, it's more like a special guard dog, so you wanna actually get off it and let it take or do damage against creatures. But again, be warned, it's fairly easy to kill these guys. So you wanna make sure it's got plenty of food to heal up, drop any food that you've got outside on the floor, and anything that says you can feed it to the creature, it will eat to heal up quicker. You should go and check out my guide that's incoming, how to get the wolf spider, and you'll notice a big difference that the gecko can actually climb the vertical, like I said, whereas the wolf spider still struggles with certain inclines. Definitely recommended getting one of these guys if you're going to explore the swamp, and you can pretty much hug the cliff to get over to the boss fight that you'll need to get the wolf spider eventually. He's a good lizard doggo. Me and Spicy had our two equipped, and it was time to see what it could actually do in combat. For some reason the green beetle didn't want to mess with us but I'm pretty sure they're aggressive normally whenever we're actually off our gecko. But yeah, it wasn't taking the bait. So it was this point I realised that yeah, jumping off is probably the best bet so you can let it do some damage against creatures. Against the wasp there and a few water beetles it held its own and it had about half its health left. Turns out green beetles do in fact do attack your creatures and if sadly it got killed. Are relatively easy to get the bait for these guys and I do believe you can get them at any time of day or night as there isn't really a nighttime variant. Like all the other creatures it doesn't like water so don't go too deep anywhere in it otherwise you may find your gecko absolutely drowning. And it does take care of most vertical walls but there can be instances especially if it's kind of like a rock that's overlooking you that it might not necessarily be able to climb up. If you somehow manage to race too far ahead or glide away, it will basically teleport to you and that still works as well for logging off at the moment where you'll return back to your pace instantly and your tame will also return. So there we go, that's absolutely everything you need to know about taming geckos. What I'd like to see improved in future, again, just like a lot of the other creatures, more tanky health, the ability to make them stay or wait, 
and some sort of small hop so we can get across rivers rather than a teleportation method. Go and check out all the other guides. And as always, if you want to see me stream small lands, I'm currently doing it on my new channel, JPG 100 Days. Every single day, small land content incoming. Until next time, Rat Bags, laters.